James Barrett Sterling for Mersum TV ahead of our FA Cup clash against Wick this afternoon and the season ahead as well, which starts a week today. I've been joined by a very esteemed guest, Chairman Paul Glasgow. Um, Paul, first of all, how's your summer been? Have you been keep, keeping up with the Euros and the Olympics, etc.? A bit of sport? Yeah, afternoon, James. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, the Euros were, were obviously very, very successful for England um, and, and, a, and a fantastic tournament to, 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 to witness. Um, and now, obviously, we're, we've got the Olympics going on and, and Team GB is doing amazingly well in all sports and all aspects of it. So, you know, for the country uh, and countries involved, we're, we're really looking forward to, uh, to to doing well with our medal tally there. And looking forward for Merston, Merston going forward, we, we've uh, we've got a really exciting season ahead of us. I re there's a lot of optimism around the ground. We have uh, we, we have uh, obviously kept Jamie in charge for this year um, and, and he's really bought into the ethics and the way the club runs and, and we've kept the core of the team as well uh, and he's added some superb players to the to the to the um, players that we've we've kept from last year, um, and I'm like I say, really exciting times. Yeah, excellent. So j just a, a thought on the, the end of last season. Then when you guys uh, the dust had settled and you guys sat down and had a conflab with with Jamie etc. What were the thoughts and what what are the aspirations for this season? Well, the thoughts for last year was obviously we got off to a very poor start last year. Had to change the manager quite early on. Um, Jamie came in, steadied the boat, picked up points, and and to begin with, you know, for last year was to uh, after Jamie came in was to was to make sure we stayed up because we were in a precarious position when he came here, um, and when we did that with games to spare, so so we were very relieved to be not you know, having to go through as in the previous year. Okay, there weren't a playoff, um, but but not to be anywhere near that. Uh, that, that possibility of being relegated. So, uh, and as for this year, yeah, we're going to be looking, most definitely looking up the higher point of the table this year. You know, we want to be aiming towards playoffs this year. If we can get there, that would be amazing. Um, there are teams much bigger than us in our division this year, as there was last. Um, but we feel we're better prepared this year. We are better prepared on the pitch and off the pitch. And, uh, and I think that will show. I mean, hopefully, you know, we will, we will, we will see that natural progression. We're not looking to fly and, and win the league by, by 10 points, but we'd love to be competitive in every game and, and give a good account of ourselves. Absolutely. I, I know Jamie's always said that he, he wanted to have a pre-season with the core of this squad uh, within the club. Uh, so pre-season's gone really well. Only one defeat out of the seven fixtures. Plenty of goals flying in. What do you think about the new faces that he's brought in to bolster what we've already got? Well, starting at the back, I mean, Rob Tolfrey, absolute legend, absolute legend of this, this, this league um, and still so much to offer, you know, and, and the confidence he gives to the players in front of him um, and, and, and around the club as well. And I still, I still would say find somebody who can distribute the ball better than Rob Tolfrey at our level. Uh, I don't think you will. And, uh, and, and we've kept our, our back four. And, and our core of our midfield and, our, our, and Corey being our striker, and we've added to that strength. We've got some wide, exciting players, fast players, and again, you know, forwards and, and central midfielders. We've got some lovely strength in depth, and with the change, um, with the change of, of going up to five substitutes now, you know, there, there's so much more scope that if you're sitting on the bench and you've already made three subs, we can still change things and change things up to have five strong players on a bench. You can, you can really change things. And just dropping back to what you are, sorry, I, I forgot about the pre-season. Pre-season, again, just the one defeat to Carl Shulton. And to be fair, they were clinging on at the end. I'm sure Peter Adeni will, will, be, will be sort of squirming a little bit at me saying that, but he, but he, but he, but he, but he was. And, uh, and, uh, and, and we love Peter. He's a lovely guy. And, uh, and so we wish him well for the season coming in the Eastman Prem. But, but yes, we're, we're, there were some amazing goals scored as well pre-season for us. Um, some cracking goals. And uh, Lee Lewis scored two at Tootin that flew off the boot. And uh, yes, almost burst the net. I heard that Matt Drage scored a couple of free kicks as well. What's that all about? Well, that's something that uh, that we're not quite sure where it's come from. To be fair, it's uh, uh, obviously it w was a secret weapon, maybe, but uh, but yeah, I'm not sure even Matt knows where it's come from. So, uh, but I suppose better late than never yeah. with Matt. We we'll have we we'll have a couple of them this season, yeah. won't we? Yeah, when yeah, when they count. Nice. Yeah, yeah, it'd be lovely. It'd be lovely. To see. And uh, you also mentioned the club have prepared off the pitch as well. Uh, I noticed there's been a few the ch uh, sort of changes within the boardroom, etc. That sort of thing. So, what sort of things can fans expect when they come down this season? Well, we've got we've got we've done updates in the bar as well. We've got all new flooring within the bar area, um, so that's much more brighter and, and more more enticing. Um, and into the ground, we've updated the buzz bar. The buzz bar is now. Uh, 
got more more availability and the pies as well we've got pucker pies involved um, which is a league incentive um, so we've got that we've got the pie and the pints going on we've we've revamped the um, revamped the actual tea bar as well put some put some work into that and the boardroom itself again new furniture in the boardroom new flooring in the boardroom and and we've done a lot of work on the pitch and hopefully people will see that the pitch looks amazing at the moment it feels like a carpet stood on it today so so i'm really really impressed with everything that we've everybody's everybody has worked very very hard this summer um and i think people think that the football stops everything stops to be fair the people behind the scenes it's our busiest time that time when the last ball is kicked of the season and and the first ball is kicked of the next season we are mad mad busy and that's the same for every club and all the clubs that have all their volunteers like us it's uh it's a it's a crazy busy time for us all and uh but we, we do it because we love it. And just a, a thought on today's game, obviously the big kickoff in a, a less than an hour now, uh, FA Cup action to boot, which makes it more special. Last season we won 2-1, didn't we, in, in a, pretty much a year ago today. Mm. Bit of a full storm, but are you hoping we can get uh, through to the next round today? Absolutely. No, we welcome Wick and, and, and all of their supporters and, and their board of directors and their team. Um, but obviously we hope they don't have a great day here. Um, we, we, we hope we progress to the next round. We're confident that we will progress to the next round. Um, but of course, it's all on the day. And that's the, that's the beauty of the FA Cup. You know, you do get, you do get these, these giant killings. This wouldn't be a giant killing, but you, we know, you know, we're the favourites to win this game. And, uh, and hopefully we prove that to be the point. Excellent. Well, Mr Chairman, thank you for joining us on Merson TV. And we'll bring you lots more action forthcoming from today and across the season.